The creation of land-grant universities 150 years ago was a revolutionary move that changed our country and the world. Before then, education was only for the wealthy and socially elite. The Morrill Act of 1862 made education accessible to the sons and daughters of the working classes by opening a university in every state that offered a practical education. North Dakota State University, established in 1890, is our state's original land-grant university. Originally called the North Dakota Agricultural College, NDSU's Agricultural Research and Extension Service helped North Dakota farmers meet the challenges of prairie farming and rural life in a vast land. NDSU's first faculty member was a botanist, hired to collect and classify North Dakota grasses, plants, and soils. As plant breeders, we have to be thinking 10, 12 years ahead of time. There's a new stem rust from Africa, we call it UG99. It's going to come to the United States eventually, but when it does get here, we have to make sure we have resistant wheat varieties. So with this BL3 facility, we can do the research we need, identify the resistant plants, and get them to the farmers before the disease even gets here. The NDSU Pharmacy Program has educated many of the region's pharmacists for more than 100 years. The program was started at a time when drug safety and effectiveness was a national concern, and food and drug laws were going into effect. Pharmacists are considered medication experts. The role of the pharmacist is evolving from dispensing medications to a more active role in patient care. Our college is bringing together multiple disciplines in a holistic approach to meet the needs of our patients. In 1905, when NDSU offered its first polymers and coatings chemistry courses, many paints were based on vegetable oils and lead pigments, which proved to be a health hazard. If it's the Army or the Air Force and we're working on how to inhibit corrosion, on either land vehicles or aircraft, we do research for a customer. And often those customers are actually companies that are either housed in North Dakota or Minnesota or around the world. And we're actually doing paint and corrosion research for those customers. As the world continues to change, land-grant universities like NDSU will play a critical role in fostering innovation and educating society to thrive in a global economy. Estimates are that 63% of American jobs and 70% of jobs in North Dakota will require some post-secondary education or training by 2018. We have a rich tradition as an agricultural state, but North Dakota State University is both part of that and part of creating a future never before imagined in North Dakota. Not just in agriculture, but in science, technology, and engineering fields. Over the last 150 years, land-grant universities have helped drive innovation and social mobility in the United States by giving access to higher education. NDSU is an economic engine that educates students, conducts primary research, creates new knowledge and advances technology, and will continue to reinvent itself to address the challenges of our state, region, nation, and world.